A great simple way to refashion a t-shirt that is too small around the chest and waist area is to add a godet. A godet is a small triangular piece of fabric that you insert at the side seams to add more width to your garment. You've probably come across godets in flared jeans. The godets in those types of jeans is usually made of a floral cotton fabric, which gives the jeans kind of a hippie boho style. You can take this same idea and use it to add width to your shirt. And you can do it in a sleeker, more minimalist kind of way. Instead of adding a printed cotton fabric, you can add godets made from fabric taken from elsewhere in your shirt, like the sleeves or the hem if your shirt is a little longer. To give you an example, I'm going to take this striped t-shirt and refashion it by inserting godets in the side seam. This shirt is already quite short, so I can't take fabric from the hem area, but I can cut the sleeves off and use that fabric for the godets. The first step is to cut off the sleeves. Do this by cutting right next to the sleeve seam. Next, open up the sleeve by cutting along the underarm seam. Open out the sleeve fabric and press flat. Cut the sleeve fabric into a triangle, making the triangle as wide as your sleeve will allow. You now have two triangular godets. Next, cut along the side seams of your t-shirt. To start with, cut a slit that is the length of your sleeve fabric. For example, my sleeve is about six inches tall, so I'm going to cut a six inch slit in the side seam of my t-shirt. Then, pin your godet into the side seam roughly. Try on the shirt, being careful not to prick yourself with the pins, and adjust the position of the godet until the height and the width of the godet is to your liking. You might need to uh, expand the height of your slit and move the godet up and down to suit your liking. A few things you might want to consider while you're playing with the positioning of your godet. If your chest area is too tight, Consider raising the godet so that the apex of the triangle is at or above the bust line. This will help add some extra width to that bust area. Do, however, be aware that this will only work if you have quite a long triangular godet to begin with. If your godet is rather short like mine is, um, then raising the godet to the bust line may make the bottom of the godet much too high for your top. The other thing I like to keep in mind is uh, I like to play with raising the hem of the godet up above the hem of my shirt. So there's an actual step up in the hem where the godet is. I think this just adds a little bit of modernity and visual interest to the shirt and makes it look a bit more unique. If your shirt has stripes or print um, like mine does, consider the placement of the print in that godet. Do you want, for example, the stripe in the godet to line up with the stripes in the shirt? Or maybe do you want to offset the stripe? You could even consider turning the godet around and having the stripes go uh, in the opposite direction. Once you've figured out the positioning of the godets, trim the sides of your triangular godets to the desired width. Pin the godets into the side seams of your shirt, matching up the sides of the godet with the sides of the t-shirt. Now you're ready to stitch. If your shirt is made of a knit or stretchy fabric, as is the case with most t-shirts, then you'll need to use a stretch needle and use a stretch stitch on your sewing machine. Check out my post on sewing machine settings for stretchy fabrics to determine which settings you should use on your machine. My shirt is made out of a medium weight knit fabric, so I'm going to sew with a regular zigzag stitch, a stitch width of six, and a stitch length of 1.5. I've also got my walking foot on to help ensure that the fabric feeds through the machine evenly without stretching. Finally, I need to position my stitching guide. Remember that because you're sewing with a zigzag stitch, the needle in your sewing machine is not in the center position, so you can't use the marked guidelines on your throat plate. 
Here, I'm going for a half inch seam allowance. So I'm going to measure half an inch from the left edge of my zigzag and move my magnetic seam guide to the new position. That pretty much takes me to that seam line right there. So I'm going to use that. Now that we've got the settings right, it's time to start stitching. Simply position the fabric under the presser foot and sew up both sides of the g'day. Press the seam allowance flat and then top stitch through the outer fabric and the seam allowance on both sides of the g'day. I'm using a triple stretch stitch for the top stitching, but again, check out my blog post on sewing machine settings for stretchy fabrics to determine the right stitch to use for your fabric type. Repeat this top stitching process with the other g'day. Now that the g'days are inserted, the next step is to finish the armholes, which currently have raw edges because we cut off the sleeves. I like my tank tops to have a bit more ease under the arm, so I am making the armhole a bit bigger by cutting away some of the fabric around the armhole. Here, I'm using a tank top I already know I like as a guide to cut the new armhole. Once you've cut one armhole, use the piece of fabric that you just cut off as a template to cut the other armhole. This helps ensure that you end up with symmetrical armholes. Next, finish the armholes with some clear elastic. This is my preferred method for finishing the edges of knit fabrics because it gives you a really nice clean edge on most knit fabrics. Simply pin the elastic to the armhole taking care not to stretch the fabric while doing so. Then stitch down the elastic using a wide zigzag stitch. Once you've done that, flip the elastic over and stitch it down again using a wide zigzag stitch. If you want a more detailed tutorial on how to finish the edges of knit fabrics with clear elastic, check out the link in the description to this video. I've made a video walking through each step. And with that, you're done. This is a really easy way to refashion a shirt that's too tight around the chest or waist area, and I particularly like the stepped good day on the side, which I think gives the shirt a more modern feel. Happy sewing!